everyone, it's Marguerite from Offbeat Avenue and today on the OA Vintage Lounge I want to talk about train cases. Um, it's one of our, when we list one, it sells pretty fast. They're pretty awesome. This is a train case. Um, it's kind of a small little suitcase. Now ordinarily I would just list this as is, but as you can see it has writing on it. Um, and it says sewing parts and parts sewing at the top and it looks like they um, wrote it in Sharpie. So um, I'm not going to sell it like this. Um, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to try to get that writing off and um, as I've done in the past it, you know, um, sometimes I can get the writing off depending on the cleaner I use. We'll see. Um, but today actually what I want to do is show you what's inside. Um, Michelle and I got this train case at an estate sale a while back and uh, not only is the case great but there's some really cool things inside and I want to show you uh, what's inside. It's obviously sewing parts but there's some pretty cool things in there too so why don't we take a look. First we'll open it. Ah look at that. Pretty cool. Um, this looks like some kind of a, I, I guess it's a belt for the sewing machine and it's, I love how it's tied with a balloon. That's, um, that looks like something my mother would do. Whatever it was like right there at the moment, that's what you're going to use. Uh, this is a pedal. I know that. This looks like it's from a Singer sewing machine. So this is the electric pedal um, that operates it. And it looks like uh, that's the switch and that looks like the motor. So good heavens, that's heavy. Um, I will have to plug that in and test that out. And can I just say that I just love this the interior looks to be in really gorgeous condition. So when I get through all of this, I'll definitely clean this up and then I'll be able to um, list this beautiful, awesome train case. So let's see, what do we have now? Dritz, oh, okay. Um, we have 36 sewn snaps from Dritz. Looks like one's missing, but they said this is great. Um, Definitely something that you can use when you're sewing. Uh, these look like assorted parts. Singer parts. Okay, so that looks like a lot of... Oh, and that's the wheel that you turn um, to get the, uh, the bobbin... Um, all set up on the side. Of the so I don't know where the sewing machine is for this. We just got the parts here for this. Um, interesting. Now this says 5.2. Jersey ballpoint. Okay. So those are the needles. Those are in a little envelope. And then we have the sewing machine light bulb. And that looks like another one, another bulb in here. Oh. <laughs> this one, <laughs> we'll have to see if that one works. We'll have to test that one out. Sure, what this is. It I'm sure in the comments, um, some of you will let me know what this is. It looks almost like it would hang around your neck, and then you maybe put things on with it. It's like little two little clothespins. So, I'm not sure what that is for. This is an unopened package of Singer Four Premium Ballpoint Yellow Band Needles, style 2045. So that is it. And then we have a very old, uh, looks like a tin, with accessories. And that looks like it has some pieces from the sewing machine. Tiny 
be doing a little magnifying glass. Okay, and, and some thread. I like this box though. That's pretty cool. Eastern, easternman.com oil and propane magnet. Don't know why that was thrown in there. Um, and that looks like, oh, there it is. It's a tacket pattern marker. I love how everything just like has a name. Everything has a title. It's pretty cool. This looks like more parts of the or are they razors? That's what they are. They're razors for cutting. And they're in a little sleeve. And there's a bunch of them in this bag. This looks like a brass. It's like a leather punch. That's pretty cool. And then there's another box in here. Oops. Where the hell is that? It's like a plastic box. Oh, Denison. I think I like this box. It's a pretty little box and it probably has items in it. Yep, it does. It has the hooks. Uh, that's a twin needle. Schnitz. more needles. There's a little, there's the receipt with the pin on it. This looks like a um, dress shield actually. These look like dress shields but it feels like felt. And there's another bulb plug. And these are all for, um, these look like they hold the little spools of thread. And then some more machinery with some, with some wire on it. That'll have to be sort of cleaned up. investigate those later. <laughs> and what else do we have in here? Oh, easy in. Okay, that is a great graphic. I love her very 80s kind of curly hair there. And look at her dress and she's just, you know, it's so easy you can sew blindfolded. How cool is that? That's awesome. Made in Italy. Michelle? It's Italian. And it looks like a brush to get, like, maybe dust off or um, clean some of the inner machinery of the sewing machine. And there's some thread in here and some needles, pins, and little buttons here as well. So that looks like it was filled with all kinds of things, if you take a look. That was really fun. I'm really looking forward to researching some of these items and figuring out how to list them. And I'm also looking forward to um, being able to offer these to people because um, if you have a vintage sewing machine, it's very hard to find replacement parts for them. Um, so if you're looking for this, um, we'll be able to have it for you. Our next show, we're going to talk about how to achieve this. Thanks for tuning in to the OA Vintage Lounge. I'm Marjorie from the Vintage I'm just reading this. It says uh, in Italian, Scosta la mattina.